Watch this movie, movie that long I'm to this back wall And my head out, don't be shit wall Two clothes, my money, both of us are blue and shallow Sun is like a blend cold Check the speed, say watch this movie, movie that long I'm to this back wall And my head out, don't be shit wall Two clothes, my money, both of us are blue and shallow It's an exciting girl Gangu i ty leżą muszę wymienić wiertło I find that it Ale muszę nawet dziecko Myślę jak być na pewno To postawi na ich piętno Dopijam jarbę i ubieram futro kęzą To proste ale ona zajebała benzą Ma już ty no jak pogoda Swoje piękno Swoje piękno Swoje piękno What is up you guys, it's Balaclava Bandit coming at you with another quick review. Today we have what I most recently had picked up as a birthday present to myself in the year 2024. And I'd wanted one of these things since I was a kid. You guys all already know what it is by the name of the video. It is the Intertech. DC Tech 9, also known as Intertech, but this is it. It was too good of a deal to pass up. These things are starting to bring in around like a thousand. I've seen them going for anywhere between 800 and about a thousand bucks on Gunbroker. So, got this thing in, got a too good of a deal on it to pass up. So, there's the mag you'll be running. 32 round mags, 20 round mags, and 50 round mags. But, the reason I'd wanted one of these so bad is because they're just one of the most iconic moves movie bad guy guns or just gangster guns you see in all the your favorite south central los angeles compton drive-by videos so the story about these are actually super interesting they started off as actually a swedish submach little machine pistol and the swiss ended up not being too interested in them. So I think there was a few African tro troops or something that had tested them out at a certain point, but they were marketed towards like special forces groups and stuff like that. And so after that, the inventor ended up moving to to Florida and trying to bring his invention into the US and marketing it here where he had to make multiple changes going from the original which was a kg 99 which ran off open bolt where eventually they made the changes to the dc9 and the tech 9 eventually to the ab10 which is after the assault weapons ban but you've seen a lot of companies take this and try and modernize it. You have BNT who made the P26, which is an awesome, awesome gun I'd love to eventually own at some point. And then you have Beretta now who's making the PMX, which is a modernized exact copy of the Tech 9 So just one of those two cool for school ones I had to pick up. I've always wanted one. Thank goodness, uh, with how much I'd heard about how much these end up jamming, I took it to the range, only had one like failure to fully go into battery. And other than that, thing ran flawlessly. It was actually a lot more pleasant to get to shoot than my Mac 11, which was interesting. The recoil on it really wasn't too bad. And overall, it's just screams cool. It's one of the coolest guns I think I've ever personally got to 
handle, let alone shoot. And this one will definitely be staying with me. So we'll go ahead and show you guys some of the footage from the range and give you a, a little closer look at all the internals of this thing. But she is sweet. So thank you guys for coming around, taking the moment to check out the video on this guy. And we'll go ahead and break it down and then get into some of the shooting footage of this guy. So hope you guys all enjoy and hopefully we'll definitely be seeing more of this on the channel. I'm gonna be trying to get to the range more often over this upcoming summer. So thanks you guys. I think there's some big trouble in little China I gotta go run and take care of, but I'll be back and we'll take a look at the internals of this. All right, so you go ahead, you remove the pin from the front portion and then the whole thing just comes out. You do have your retaining end cap here. Give you guys kind of a quick little peek at what the internals look like. There really isn't too much in here and that's what makes me absolutely love little tube fed guns like this. Just bare minimum, not too much. So, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the back end cab. And you wanna end up holding holding it because it is under spring pressure. So you don't want it to go completely flying off. And there we go, she's loose. So here we go. You have your end cab and then you have the buffer pad and everything, your springs on here. So there's your springs. And then you're gonna slide your bolt back. Safety off. And then get it to here. You can get your firing pin out and the sear and everything. Slide this back to the rear slot. Good. Pop the safety out. And then your bolt drops. Looks a lot like a, a Sten bolt. So we'll go ahead and reassemble this thing, get it back together. There we go, get her slid forward. Then what I found was getting these two pieces and getting your firing pin to lay in the sear. All right, okay. So we got this all lined up and in there. Gonna slide it all the way forward and then insert both your springs. Try and get you guys a look at what it'll look like. And then you're gonna apply just slight downward pressure and get your cap at least hopefully started by hand. Definitely do not want this stuff to just fly off. All right. 
think we got it going good. screwed up pretty tight as tight as you can and then all you got to do slide your upper back in so you get your front pin pushed back in and then go ahead and Everything's working. All right. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, you guys. I appreciate you taking this quick little peek at the new Tech 9, new DC 9 that I picked up. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video on this. And they're a really neat gun. If you like submachine guns or just tube guns like myself, this is definitely one you'll eventually have your eye on or come across. It's just too iconic and too cool. It's definitely been cool to get the opportunity to mess around with and play with one and take it to the range in person and definitely lived up to be a little bit better than I'd anticipated from all the previous reviews on these things that I've seen. But if you'd like to know more, feel free to ask down in the comments and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you for watching. Thanks so much for watching again, you guys. Um, I did actually recently, over the last year, pick something else up that is a little tag along to this guy. So I'll give you a quick peek at another review on something that's gonna be coming up. And that would be my second owned Velocity Firearms V Mac 9 recently with a little rear end updates. So another sick classic steel tube gun. So this review will be coming soon. Thank you guys again for watching. Have a great weekend.